Catching ship? It might sound unbelievable, but it could soon become reality. The big question on everyone's mind, is SpaceX truly ready for this historic attempt? Right now, all signs point to yes. SpaceX is rapidly upgrading key systems at the launch pad, pushing forward with groundbreaking improvements to make this possible. So, how close are they? What critical upgrades are paving the way for this bold move? Let's dive into all the details in today's episode of Great SpaceX to find out. We've all been on an incredible journey with Starship, witnessing its rapid evolution from explosive test flights to controlled landings in the sea, and even the jaw-dropping moment when Super Heavy was caught by the Mechazilla arms. Now we're on the verge of yet another historic milestone, catching ship. Could it happen soon? There's plenty of skepticism, but I'd say it's possible. With the results of Flight 8N, Flight 9 will build on its objectives, including another ocean landing of the Starship upper stage. The mission aims to validate several key upgrades, payload deployment, engine relight in space, improved re-entry with upgraded heat shields and flaps, and more. These are crucial steps toward the first attempted catch of the Starship likely on Flight 10. Flight 10 is expected to feature S-36, which includes a full landing pin system, unlike S-35, which only had a simulated version. This reinforces the possibility of a full-scale catch attempt. S-36 will likely pair with B-16, originally scheduled for Flight 9, but replaced by B-14, likely for focused testing ahead of recovery attempts. Meanwhile, ground systems are also advancing. SpaceX recently conducted the highest test yet of the chopsticks, pushing the system's limits in preparation for future catches and supporting critical tasks like two-stage stacking. Altogether, Flight 9 marks a major step in readiness for full reusability, paving the way for more ambitious milestones starting with Flight 10. SpaceX has also been making significant progress on the infrastructure needed for catching ship particularly with Chopsticks Pad B. This system appears to be dedicated to ship catching, as Chopsticks Pad A isn't designed for this purpose. The chopsticks have already been installed on the launch tower, and additional components, including actuators, ramps, and cladding systems, have been integrated. SpaceX has been actively testing these systems, with notable progress in recent weeks. Chopsticks Pad B moved for the first time as its left arm opened. Then, on the 26th, and again on the 28th, the arms were seen lifting in test movements, confirming that the system is operational. Of course, further testing is required, particularly a weight pressure test using orange water bags to simulate the load of a returning ship. However, the overall progress suggests that the system is approaching readiness, making a catching attempt this month increasingly feasible. A major concern is that the orbital launch mount system isn't finished yet, but here's the thing. Catching ship may not require a fully completed OLM at all. Once caught, the chopsticks can simply lower ship onto a stand positioned below. The current setup next to the tower suggests that a mobile OLM is being developed, which could allow SpaceX to proceed without the full launch mount in place. A temporary cover or alternative support structure could be used to facilitate post-catch procedures. If SpaceX is fully committed to this attempt, it could happen much sooner than expected. Booster 16 has already been transported to Massey for cryogenic testing, and S-35 is likely to follow soon. Once they pass testing, they'll undergo static fire tests, installation, and integration checks. Additionally, B-14 is expected to be reused for this flight, which will further accelerate preparation efforts. If everything proceeds as planned, a second Starship launch this month is absolutely within reach. This would be a game-changing moment for SpaceX and the space industry as a whole. Successfully catching ship would mark a significant step toward achieving full reusability, something that has never been done before. The ability to recover and reuse both stages of Starship is essential for bringing down launch costs and making large-scale space operations sustainable. But the significance goes beyond just this one test. If Flight 9 launches this month, it will mark the first time SpaceX has achieved a two-Starship flight per month cadence. This would be a huge milestone, signaling that the Starship program is entering an era of frequent and routine flights. 
With each successive launch, SpaceX gains valuable data, refines its systems, and moves closer to making Starship the workhorse of the future, capable of everything from satellite deployments to interplanetary missions. Of course, catching ship won't be easy. Unlike Super Heavy, which has already undergone a catching test, ship is lighter, faster, and more aerodynamically complex. The timing, alignment, and control required for a successful catch will be extremely demanding. However, if there's one thing we've learned from SpaceX, it's that they don't shy away from ambitious challenges. So, are you excited for this first ever attempt to catch ship? Reply, let's do it, in the comment section down below. Then, like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. Although the orbital launch mount may not play a direct role in the upcoming ship catching effort, it is still making significant progress with several major upgrades. The advancements taking place at Pad B suggest that SpaceX is preparing for a future of more frequent and efficient launches, with improved infrastructure to support the demands of Starship operations. In recent days, multiple water tanks have been transported to the site where they will be integrated with the Water Deluge Flame Trench system. This system is crucial for managing the extreme heat and forces generated during launches, helping to mitigate damage to the launch pad while also providing a safer environment for operations. One of the most intriguing developments is the construction of the BQD gantry system, which began on the 24th of February, positioned right next to the launch tower. By the 28th, the primary structure had already taken shape. The system is relatively new to the public and many are eager to understand its purpose and functionality. Fortunately, Louis Nag and his team recently released detailed 3D renderings of the BQD gantry, providing valuable insights into its design. These images offer a clearer understanding of how this new structure integrates with the existing launch infrastructure. A big thank you to Louis Nag and his team for their dedication in creating these incredible visualizations. Their work makes it much easier for the spaceflight community to grasp the complexity of these developments, and I encourage everyone to follow their X page to support their efforts and discover more exciting insights. From the 3D images, we can see that the BQD gantry system is positioned parallel to the OLM right next to the flame trench. This positioning suggests that if the OLM ever needs refurbishment or replacement, it'll have only one available direction for movement. The name BQD gantry implies that its primary role will involve supporting the quick disconnect process for the booster. However, the exact mechanics of how this system will interface with the OLM remains unclear. If anyone has additional insights into this, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Discussions like these help everyone gain a deeper understanding of SpaceX's evolving technology. Meanwhile, the OLM itself is also undergoing significant modifications. The 3D models indicate that it'll be reinforced with steel plates likely to improve durability and enhance drainage capabilities. A drainage system has also been incorporated beneath the OLM with early predictions suggesting it could house hydraulic pipes, electrical equipment, or even elements of a detonation suppression system that operates using water and nitrogen. While we need to wait for actual hardware installation to fully confirm these changes, it is clear that the OLM is being designed with adaptability in mind. The flexibility of the system will likely play a key role in supporting the Starship launch process in the near future. To get a better understanding of the overall layout of Pad B, we can look at it from an aerial perspective. From this angle, it's clear that a complex pipe system is being installed at one end of the pad. It appears that the system will be permanently fixed and will connect to the pipelines integrated into the OLM, further improving the mobility and functionality of the launch platform. With the trench below the pad already excavated and the first layer of concrete poured, it seems that SpaceX has successfully completed the foundational groundwork for Pad B. The next steps will likely include placing rebar reinforcements followed by pouring the final layers of concrete to solidify the base structure. Once this foundation is complete, the flame bucket system will be installed and connected to the existing structure. Finally, the OLM will be brought in and fully integrated, marking a crucial milestone in the development of Pad B. There is a tremendous amount of innovation happening here, and it's all coming together to create a more advanced and robust launch system. This infrastructure will undoubtedly improve the efficiency of Starship launches, 
making each flight smoother and more sustainable. But beyond just launch capabilities, it's exciting to think about what this could mean for landing operations in the future. With these improvements, SpaceX is laying the groundwork for a future where Starship launches and landings become increasingly routine. The developments of Pad B are just another step toward making rapid reusability a reality, bringing us closer to a future where Starship can launch, land, and launch again with minimal downtime. As always, we'll have to wait for the next updates to see how everything comes together. But one thing is certain, exciting times are ahead at Starbase. Once the system is completed, we can expect it to be replicated not only at Starbase, but also at Cape Canaveral, as SpaceX prepares for an ambitious future of high-frequency Starship launches. The sheer scale of their plan is staggering. This year alone, SpaceX has set a goal of launching 25 Starships, an ambitious target that'll be extremely difficult to achieve, but this is only the beginning. Looking ahead, the company aims to launch 400 Starships over the next four years. Achieving this goal will require a dramatic expansion of launch infrastructure, including more landing and catching systems to support the increased cadence. Additionally, starting this year, SpaceX will begin constructing its in-orbit refueling system, a critical capability for deep space missions. To master this technology, they will need to conduct numerous test flights, further driving the need for robust launch facilities. Meanwhile, expansion at Cape Canaveral is also progressing. The Starship launch tower at LC-39A has been constructed and is now awaiting its OLM, much like Pad B at Starbase. Plans for a large-scale manufacturing hub known as Gigabay are also in development, signaling a major step forward for Starship's future operations. To achieve this ambitious future, SpaceX must deliver strong performance in the upcoming flight. With groundbreaking upgrades in place, the company now has the chance to take a historic step pushing Starship closer to full reusability and, for the first time, attempting two launches in a single month. This isn't just about breaking records. Each flight serves as a crucial testbed for refining SpaceX's evolving systems. This month could mark a defining moment for both SpaceX and Starship. While the pace of progress may come as a surprise to some, one thing is certain. The future of spaceflight is unfolding before us, and it's happening faster than ever. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.